the day before Britain leaves the EU in the Scottish capital, and there are signs that people here aren't happy. Thousands are set to take to the streets in Edinburgh tomorrow. Mike Blackshaw is organising the rally. He says the movement for independence has gained momentum since Brexit. Brexit has changed the format of how a lot of people see the SNP, see independence movement. A lot of people who were, who were never in that mood, never, were never interested in independence, suddenly are now massively interested. The majority of voters in Scotland opposed Brexit, justification nationalist leader Nicola Sturgeon says, for people to have another say on independence. Yesterday, by a small margin, she won the support of the Scottish Parliament for a new vote, but Boris Johnson has ruled it out. Legally, the devolved government here at Holyrood needs Westminster to transfer its powers in order to hold a second referendum. But the Prime Minister says Scotland had their chance six years ago when 55% of voters here rejected independence. Latest opinion polls suggest that support for it hasn't changed much since 2014. Back then, there was concern over what such a seismic break would do to the country's economy and businesses if it were to relinquish billions from central government. So what has changed? A huge amount has changed since 2014, a material change of circumstances. And that material change of circumstances is Scotland's views on something as big as Brexit being totally ignored. We're losing our place uh, in the single market. We're losing uh, the freedom of movement of people, which uh, is so central to our economy. Experts believe a referendum will depend on the results of next year's Scottish parliamentary elections. If the SNP secures a majority government, they will have a strong case. They will run on a mandate to hold another referendum. And it would be difficult to see how, how the UK government can maintain that position for a long period of time. The SNP's bid for independence has so far fallen on deaf ears at Downing Street. On Friday, when Brexit becomes official, Nicola Sturgeon will give a speech on how she plans to make them listen. The EU flag will also be kept flying over the Edinburgh Parliament building. An act of defiance she will no doubt be hoping both Westminster and Brussels notice. Holly Hudson, CGTN, Edinburgh.